In a world filled with constant distractions, external pressures, and societal expectations, it's easy to lose sight of who we truly are. Many people grapple with self-doubt, questioning their value and abilities in the face of adversity, judgment, and failure. However, there is a timeless philosophy that provides a powerful framework for cultivating unshakable self-esteem, Stoicism. Stoic philosophy, developed by thinkers like Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius, teaches us how to live with virtue, inner strength, and emotional clarity. It emphasizes focusing on what we can control, accepting what we cannot, and finding contentment in the way we live, rather than relying on external validation. By integrating Stoic teachings into our daily lives, we can build a foundation of self-esteem that remains unshaken, even in the most challenging circumstances. This guide explores how to cultivate lasting self-esteem through Stoic principles such as emotional control, self-discipline, resilience, and understanding the impermanence of external opinions. Each section provides practical steps and actionable advice to help you overcome self-doubt, strengthen your mental clarity, and develop a deep, unshakable confidence. Now, if you are new here, please like the video and subscribe. Statistics show that only 15% of my audience is subscribed to the channel. So if this content has helped you in any way, I ask you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. 1. Understanding the Stoic Approach to Self-Esteem Self-esteem, in the Stoic view, is not based on how others see us or on external achievements. Instead, it is grounded in living in accordance with virtue and reason. The Stoics taught that true confidence comes from within and is built upon a strong sense of character and purpose. By shifting our focus away from seeking approval or validation from others and towards developing inner virtue, we free ourselves from the anxiety and self-doubt that plague so many people today. In modern psychology, Self-esteem is often understood as a person's overall sense of self-worth or personal value. It is linked to how we perceive our abilities, appearance, and relationships. While there is nothing inherently wrong with wanting to feel good about ourselves, this traditional view of self-esteem is fragile because it is often dependent on external factors, how others treat us, whether we succeed or fail, and how we measure up to societal standards. The Stoics, however, saw self-esteem as something deeper and more resilient. In their philosophy, self-esteem is a byproduct of living in harmony with virtue and reason. Stoics believed that human beings are capable of controlling their inner world, thoughts, actions and emotions, and that true confidence comes from mastering these aspects of ourselves. Epictetus famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Stoic self-esteem, then, is not contingent on external events or opinions, but is built on our ability to remain steadfast and virtuous in the face of life's challenges. Unshakable self-esteem is essential because it allows us to navigate life's ups and downs with composure and clarity. When we are confident in our values, our principles and our actions, we are less vulnerable to external influences, criticism and failure. By cultivating self-esteem based on stoic principles, we gain the inner strength to face adversity without losing our sense of self-worth. When self-esteem is fragile, it fluctuates with every success or failure, praise or criticism. This creates a roller coaster of emotions that can leave us feeling anxious, insecure, and reactive. In contrast, stoic self esteem provides a stable foundation, helping us maintain mental clarity, resilience, and emotional balance no matter what life throws our way. 2. The role of virtue in building self esteem. At the heart of stoicism is the idea of living virtuously. 
The Stoics defined virtue as living in accordance with nature, reason, and ethical principles. For them, virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance were the cornerstones of a good life. By embodying these virtues, we develop a sense of self-worth that is independent of external circumstances. Virtue, according to the Stoics, is the highest good. It is the moral excellence that comes from acting in alignment with reason and ethical principles. Unlike external rewards, such as wealth, status or popularity, virtue is within our control. It is something we can cultivate through our choices, actions and thoughts. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote in his Meditations, Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. This underscores the Stoic belief that virtue is not something to be debated or theorized about, but to be actively practiced in our daily lives. Virtue is the foundation upon which Stoic self-esteem is built. When we act in accordance with our principles, we develop an inner sense of worth that cannot be shaken by external events. This is because our self-esteem is rooted in who we are, our character, rather than in what we achieve or how others perceive us. For example, someone who values honesty will feel good about themselves when they act truthfully, regardless of whether others acknowledge or reward them for it. By consistently acting in line with our values, we reinforce our sense of integrity, which strengthens our self-esteem. On the other hand, when we act against our values, such as lying, cheating or betraying others, we undermine our sense of self-worth. Over time, these actions erode our confidence and create internal conflict. By living virtuously, we avoid this erosion and instead build a self-esteem that is based on inner truth and integrity. 3. Controlling your emotions and strengthening inner calm. Emotional control is a central tenet of Stoic philosophy and a critical factor in developing unshakable self-esteem. The Stoics believed that emotions like anger, fear and anxiety often stem from faulty judgments about the world. By learning to manage our emotions and respond with reason rather than impulsivity, we can maintain mental clarity and protect our self-esteem from being eroded by emotional turbulence. In Stoicism, emotions are not inherently bad. However, the Stoics differentiated between emotions that are irrational and destructive, known as passions, and those that are based on reason. Negative emotions, such as anger, jealousy and fear, arise when we react to external events as though they were under our control, when in reality, they are not. Epictetus taught that emotions are often the result of our judgments about the world, rather than the world itself. He famously said, Men are disturbed not by things, but by the views they take of them. By changing our perceptions and understanding that external events are beyond our control, we can prevent negative emotions from taking over. Mindfulness and observation. The first step in controlling emotions is to become aware of them. When you feel anger, anxiety or frustration rising, pause and observe the emotion without reacting immediately. Ask yourself what triggered it and whether your response is based on reason or impulse. Challenge irrational thoughts. Often, negative emotions arise from irrational or exaggerated thoughts. For example, if someone criticizes you, you might think, I'm a failure, or no one likes me. Challenge these thoughts by asking yourself if they are true, and whether the situation is as dire as you're making it out to be. Practice the pause. One of the most effective stoic techniques is to delay your reaction to emotional triggers. When you feel a surge of anger or anxiety, Take a few deep breaths and give yourself time to respond calmly. This pause allows you to process the emotion rationally rather than acting on impulse. Reframe 
the situation. The Stoics often used cognitive reframing to change their perspective on events. Instead of seeing a challenge as something negative, try to view it as an opportunity for growth. For example, if you lose your job, instead of spiraling into self-doubt, reframe it as a chance to pursue new opportunities and develop resilience. When we learn to manage our emotions, we cultivate inner calm and resilience. Instead of being tossed around by every emotional storm, we remain grounded and centered. This emotional stability strengthens our self-esteem because we are no longer reactive to every criticism, setback or conflict. Instead, we maintain clarity and confidence in who we are and how we choose to respond to the world around us. 4. Practicing self-discipline and building inner strength. Self-discipline is another key principle in Stoic philosophy and is crucial for cultivating unshakable self-esteem. By exercising discipline over our thoughts, actions and desires, we gain control over our inner world and become less dependent on external factors for our sense of worth. Stoic self-discipline is not about deprivation or punishment. It's about mastering ourselves so that we can live in alignment with our highest values and goals. Virtue, according to the Stoics, is the highest good. It is the moral excellence that comes from acting in alignment with reason and ethical principles. Unlike external rewards, such as wealth, status or popularity, virtue is within our control. It is something we can cultivate through our choices, actions and thoughts. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote in his Meditations, Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be, be one. This underscores the Stoic belief that virtue is not something to be debated or theorized about, but to be actively practiced in our daily lives. For the Stoics, self-discipline was a way of living with integrity and purpose. It allowed them to resist the temptations and distractions of life and focus on what truly mattered, virtue and wisdom. Seneca, one of the most famous Stoic philosophers, wrote, It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Self-discipline helps us avoid wasting time and energy on trivial pursuits, enabling us to focus on what truly brings us fulfillment and meaning. Set clear values and priorities. To practice self-discipline, it's essential to have a clear sense of your values and priorities. What matters most to you? What kind of person do you want to be? By defining your values, you create a roadmap for your life that guides your actions and decisions. Break tasks into manageable steps. One of the reasons people struggle with discipline is that they feel overwhelmed by the magnitude of a task. To overcome this, break your goals into smaller, manageable steps. For example, if you want to improve your physical health, start with small, consistent actions, like walking for 20 minutes each day, rather than trying to overhaul your entire lifestyle at once. Practice delayed gratification. Self-discipline often requires resisting immediate pleasures in favor of long-term rewards. Practice delayed gratification by setting aside short-term desires for the sake of your long-term goals. For example, if you're tempted to procrastinate on a project, remind yourself that completing it now will free up time and reduce stress in the future. Use daily routines to build discipline. Developing self-discipline is easier when you have consistent routines in place. Whether it's a morning routine that sets the tone for your day or a nightly reflection practice, routines help you cultivate discipline by making your actions habitual. When we practice self-discipline, we strengthen our sense of self-worth because we are acting in alignment with our values and goals. Each time we resist temptation, follow through on a commitment or prioritize our well-being, we reinforce the belief that we are capable, strong, and in control of our lives. 
This in turn builds lasting self-esteem as we gain confidence in our ability to navigate challenges and stay true to our principles. You have now reached the halfway mark of the video. I congratulate you for trying to become a better version of yourself and I also humbly ask you to leave a comment as it helps my channel immensely. If you do not know what to comment, just write, I am stoic, so I know you reached this far. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Also, I've linked some books on stoicism that helped me become the man I am today and will also help you achieve a stoic mindset. 5. Accepting what you cannot control. A cornerstone of Stoic philosophy is the concept of control. The Stoics believed that many aspects of life are beyond our control and that trying to change or control these things only leads to frustration, anxiety and self-doubt. Instead, they emphasized focusing on what is within our control, our thoughts, actions and attitudes and letting go of everything else. Epictetus outlined what is now known as the Stoic dichotomy of control, which divides the world into two categories, things we can control and things we cannot. According to Epictetus, the only things truly within our control are our own thoughts, actions and attitudes. Everything else, other people's opinions, events and outcomes, are beyond our control and should be accepted with equanimity. This distinction is essential for cultivating unshakable self-esteem because it frees us from the anxiety and self-doubt that come from trying to control the uncontrollable. When we accept that certain things are beyond our control, we can stop blaming ourselves for outcomes we could not influence and focus instead on what we can change, our responses and efforts. Identify what is within your control in any given situation, ask yourself, what is within my control here? Focus your energy on these aspects, such as your thoughts, actions and reactions. Let go of the rest. Practice radical acceptance. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation or passivity. It means recognizing that some things are beyond your control and choosing not to waste energy fighting against them. When you encounter a setback or disappointment, practice radical acceptance by acknowledging the situation without resistance and focusing on how you can respond constructively. Release attachment to outcomes. One of the most common ways we undermine our self-esteem is by tying our worth to external outcomes, whether it's winning a competition, getting a promotion or impressing others. Instead, Focus on the effort and process, rather than the result. As the Stoics taught, we cannot control outcomes, but we can control how we show up and engage with the process. When we accept what we cannot control, we protect our self-esteem from being tied to external circumstances. This creates a sense of freedom and inner peace, as we no longer feel responsible for things that are beyond our influence. Instead, we gain confidence in our ability to navigate life's challenges with grace and wisdom, knowing that we are in control of our responses, not the outcomes. 6. Resilience and Overcoming Adversity Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks, challenges and failures without losing your sense of self-worth. In Stoic philosophy, Resilience is closely linked to the concept of amor fati, or the love of fate. This means accepting life's difficulties as opportunities for growth and development, rather than as obstacles to be feared or avoided. The Stoics believed that adversity is a natural part of life, and that it should be embraced as a chance to cultivate virtue and resilience. Marcus Aurelius wrote, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This means that obstacles are not just things to be overcome, but are essential for personal growth. By reframing challenges as opportunities for growth, 
we can approach adversity with a sense of purpose and clarity rather than fear or self-doubt. This stoic mindset allows us to maintain our self-esteem even in the face of failure or hardship. View challenges as opportunities for growth. When faced with a setback, ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? Instead of seeing challenges as threats to your self-esteem, view them as chances to develop new skills, perspectives, or strengths. Practice gratitude for difficulties. One way to cultivate resilience is to be grateful for the difficulties you face. This might seem counterintuitive, but by appreciating the role that adversity plays in shaping your character, you can shift your mindset from one of resistance to one of acceptance and growth. Develop a resilient mindset. Resilience is not about never falling down. It's about getting back up after you do. When you encounter failure or disappointment, remind yourself that setbacks are temporary and that you have the strength to recover. This mindset allows you to maintain your self-esteem even when things don't go as planned. Resilience is a key component of unshakable self-esteem because it allows us to face adversity without losing confidence in ourselves. By embracing challenges and learning from failures, we develop a deep sense of trust in our ability to navigate life's ups and downs. This resilience protects our self-esteem from being undermined by external circumstances and strengthens our inner confidence. 7. The Impermanence of External Opinions One of the most common sources of self-doubt and insecurity is the desire for approval and validation from others. We often base our self-esteem on what others think of us, which makes our confidence fragile and vulnerable to criticism or rejection. Stoic philosophy teaches us to detach from external opinions and focus instead on living according to our own values. The Stoics recognized that we cannot control what others think of us, and they warned against becoming overly concerned with external validation. Marcus Aurelius wrote, it never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. By focusing on living virtuously and in alignment with our own values, we free ourselves from the need for external approval. The Stoics believed that the only opinion that truly matters is our own judgment of whether we are living a good and virtuous life. Cultivate self-approval. Instead of seeking approval from others, focus on approving of yourself. Ask yourself, am I living according to my values? And am I acting with integrity? When you can answer yes to these questions, external opinions become irrelevant. Detach from praise and criticism. Practice responding to both praise and criticism with equanimity. Neither should define your worth. If someone praises you, acknowledge it, but don't let it inflate your ego. If someone criticizes you, consider whether the feedback is constructive, but don't let it diminish your self-esteem. Practice daily reflection. One of the most powerful stoic practices is daily reflection. At the end of each day, reflect on your actions and ask yourself whether you lived in accordance with your values. This practice helps you cultivate inner accountability and reduces your dependence on external validation. When we stop relying on external opinions to validate our worth, we develop a deep sense of inner confidence that cannot be shaken by the judgments of others. By focusing on our own values and principles, we build self-esteem that is grounded in authenticity and integrity. This self-esteem is unshakable because it is not dependent on the changing opinions of others, but is rooted in our inner sense of worth. 8. Daily Stoic Practices for Cultivating Self-Esteem To integrate Stoic principles into daily life and cultivate lasting self-esteem, 
it's essential to develop consistent practices that reinforce your inner strength, resilience, and emotional clarity. The Stoics emphasized the importance of reflection, mindfulness, and intentional action in building a virtuous life. Morning Reflection Start each day with a moment of reflection. Ask yourself, what kind of person do I want to be today? And how can I live in alignment with my values? This sets a clear intention for the day and helps you stay focused on what truly matters. Evening Reflection At the end of the day, take a few moments to reflect on your actions. Ask yourself, did I act with integrity today? And what can I improve tomorrow? This practice helps you cultivate self-awareness and accountability, which are key components of self-esteem. Journaling is a powerful stoic practice for self-reflection and emotional clarity. Each day, write down your thoughts, challenges and reflections on how you responded to the events of the day. This helps you track your progress in living according to stoic principles and provides insight into areas where you can improve. Mindfulness is a practice of being fully present and aware of your thoughts and emotions without judgment. By cultivating mindfulness, you can observe your emotions without being controlled by them. This helps you maintain emotional clarity and composure, even in challenging situations. Gratitude is a powerful tool for shifting your focus away from what you lack and towards what you already have. Each day, take a few moments to reflect on the things you are grateful for, whether it's your health, relationships, or personal growth. This practice helps you cultivate a mindset of abundance and strengthens your self-esteem by reminding you of your inner resources. Cultivating unshakable self-esteem is a lifelong journey that requires consistent practice and reflection. By integrating stoic principles into your daily life, such as controlling your emotions, practicing self-discipline, accepting what you cannot control, and letting go of external opinions, you can develop a deep, lasting sense of confidence and self-worth. The stoic path is not about perfection, but about progress. It's about making small, intentional choices each day that align with your values and strengthen your inner resilience. By following this path, you can build self-esteem that is grounded in virtue, authenticity, and inner strength, allowing you to navigate life's challenges with clarity, confidence, and grace. Remember, your self-esteem is not determined by what others think of you, by external success, or by fleeting emotions. It is built on the foundation of who you are and how you choose to live. By embodying stoic principles, you can cultivate a self-esteem that is truly unshakable. Now, if any part of this message has been helpful to you, leave us your like and comment, helping the algorithm recommend it to someone who needs it at this time. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. And if you look through the videos we've already uploaded, you're sure to find something to take with you. Have a good day.